Blood flows into your brain two ways. You've got the garden hoses coming up your neck called the carotid arteries. And I do this, and it's not because I'm Italian. It's because when you do a physical, lift your chin up, do a physical, and say garden hoses, carotid arteries, they go, oh yeah. They'll nod their head. They don't feel scared by a medical term. They get it. At the top of the garden hose, if you adjust the nozzle, it's a spray. And perfusion studies, a spec scan, is looking to see, are you watering your lawn five minutes a day or three hours every other day? Meaning, is the grass a little wet or are the roots soaked? Are you really saturating the lawn? Because you know, if you water your lawn five minutes a day, it dies in the summer, right? The roots aren't getting any water. So a spec study looks to see, is enough blood soaking your brain? And this patient had a lack of blood flow in the left frontal cortex. Celiac disease was diagnosed and treated with a gluten-free diet. After, uh, with quick improvement, six months. After six months, her body weight had gone from 38 to 50 kilograms, more normal. Blood chemistry and histology, all normal. Spec scans, repeated, normal, completely normal. Psychiatric disturbances disappeared, and neuroleptic therapies were discontinued without a recurrence of schizophrenic symptoms. A year later, she's still asymptomatic and functioning, living a normal life. 